What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 13 of our blind Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. We are in Wayla Volcano Park. Uh, we just did Royal Avenue. Uh, we're about to uh, see what's going on in the Ultra Sun and Moon version. Ooh. Get broken. <gasps> Why was there a rock behind there? Um, see what's going on different in this version of this area. Uh, so we're just kind of exploring the lower trenches here. Uh, we will check out the grassy areas, uh, not start popping repels right away because I'm pretty sure we can get a Salandit here. And I would love to, I mean, unless they're changing it, but this is like... A lot of things can change between game to game, I know that, but so far the game's been very similar to the Sun and Moon Let's Play. So, I'm going to use a little intuition in saying that this being pretty much the only fiery area means it's probably going to be the only place I get a Salandit. Uh, at least that, that's what I'm assuming. So, done with that. Oh, this person's the cutest of the Seismic Sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. Okay. Can't go up that way. I almost didn't see that cave. It was like, kind of blended in a little bit there. Good job making it this high. Why don't we heal your Pokemon for you? All right. If you want to go back down the mountain, you can cut through the tunnel right there. Um, so I can go up to the totem den. Is that it? Man, I could have done this last episode, but I guess we're starting off with something fun for this one. I am Kiawe. I'm Marowak, and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in Alola for generations. The trial of Kiawe you will find that it is a bit different than the trials you have faced for this point on. But of course, you will attempt it, right? Of course. Trial start. My trial will test your powers of observation. There will be a dance, and then another. Your task will be to find the difference between the two. Begin. Watch carefully and memorize this dance. What? What was different? I mean, the middle Marowak's facing up instead of down. Is that what they mean? What? Did I, did I win or lose? I can't tell because I'm fighting the Marowak. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, Alolan Marowak is, is it Ghost Fire, right? I think. Yeah. Ghost fire. Oh no! Bite got no. <laughs> ah. Uh, bite got cursed. Um. So I guess this one doesn't have uh, lightning rod or whatever. But my only other move is headbutt. So that's not gonna work. So we're gonna have to switch out. Uh. And who can handle this? Well, P, obviously. <laughs> Tail whip. It's a little late in the game for that. Well, I guess only level 18. It's not too late. So that wasn't too hard. That wasn't a totem battle, though, so... So am I just going to have to fight 
A Marowak after every round? I'm not sure. Marowak was so pleased by your right answer that it simply had to battle you. Okay, so I got the answer right. That wasn't very clear. See, here's here's what I struggle with with that first one. Was I just trying to make that decision based on the picture at the end, or was I making the decision based on the dance they did? Because I didn't really... Okay. Same dance, and at the very end, there's a dude in it. Uh, and then one Marowak facing backwards like this, then another so just going boom, boom, boom. And there's a hiker in the bottom right. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, so I think they're standing in the same place. How they hold their bones might be different. How they're smiling? The Marowak's not smiling. The dude is probably smiling different. Come, my fine hiker. Alola! <laughs> What's he got? A Marowak? Oh, a Magmar. Very cool. This is so weird. I like not I'm not like good weird, just stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this guy might have flame body. I might just have head butted myself into a burnt oblivion. But I didn't. But I don't really have a choice. I've got only contact moves on pups right now. No burn, burn free. You're a fool if you dance, and you're a fool if you just look on. I don't think you're a fool if you dance. If you dance like a fool, you might be. My hiker friend was so pleased by your right answer that he simply had to battle you. Onward to the final dance. They walk, they spin. We've got the three of them. <laughs> so one Marowak taking a picture. The other two with like the sorority, po sorority pose, like... Ooh. They're all facing that way, looking at the camera, clubs down, butts out. So there's just another one looking the opposite direction. There's just another Marowak. So I'm assuming all of these are... Is that the whole thing? Has has it always been that... Let's just say the totem Pokemon. Whack, whack, whack. Waka, 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 waka. Hi, totem Marowak. All right, what's his boost? Speed. Speed got doubled. So, um, what should we start off with? We could baby doll eyes this guy real early. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to bite my way to victory against this guy. Couple of things to think. Of. Well, probably the best idea is to... Lead off with a bite, see how much it does, and see whether or not it's worth boosting or anything like that thereafter. Uh, oh man, detect. If I'd popped work up there, I would've... So this might mean that it's in my best interest to pop in every other... Salazzle is the summonable? Oh my god. Does baby doll eyes affect both? No, it only affects one. Um, I think I'm gonna need, if I want pups to do this, I'm gonna need pups to be strong enough to be okoing things. Now, Salazzle's not super strong. Uh, but for, let's get a bite off on Marowak now, because he just used the tact. 
poison gas. Okay. I'm okay with poison because it means I can't be burned. Brick break is going to hit me super effective. That's power. And with the poison, actually, that means that uh, Pups is not going to be going too far this time. So let's see if we can... Um, Let's see if we can take out the Salazzle. Uh, and Pups will probably go down here. I'm not going to try and keep... I'm really surprised that I'm out speeding. So I live on one, but of course the Brick Break will take me out. Um, so Pups goes down. Salazzle's weak. They're both... I mean, it seems like a no-brainer to go Lil' P here. Lil' P will resist the fire. It'll resist the fighting. Salazzle, um, Poison Fire. And I think I can just probably just one time that Salazzle down. Ah, Quick Claw. Didn't even need to, uh. Okay, good. The Marowak popped a detect, but I didn't focus that. I focused the, uh, Salazzle. So Salazzle down. Yeah, I think I'm just going to be able to bubble beam this. I, I don't see the... The Marowak's really slow even with that speed boost. I might even outspeed it because I do have level advantage. Uh, no, he still outspeeds. But this is just going to be a neutral damage. He's really strong though. I mean, Marowak's a beast. Marowak is very, very powerful. Cursed body, but that's fine because I was going to Aqua Jet anyway to finish this off. Marowak does have much higher defense, and I do have much lower attack, but this should, this is still super effective. Yeah, and does take it out. So, that was shockingly easy. <laughs> the hardest part about that uh, was figuring out what was going on with that stupid match the things game. It's a fun idea, but I don't know. Whoa. Spectacular. With your keen observations, you were able to see even fine differences in our dances, and you defeated the totem Pokemon with such ease. The totem Pokemon protected this Fire Ream Z. Now it is yours. Alright guys, anyone remember the Fire Ream dance? Do you think it's like, uh... Like, you have to do the... The flames, they're like dancing flames. They don't, they, there's no way they're going to do the fingers, so there's no flame like this. Yeah, what's it going to be? It's. I feel like it's going to have, like, arms in the air type of thing. Huh, huh, yeah, huh. Okay. Thank you, my dear Marowak. For when you meet a Pokemon that would like, that you would like to make your companion take these. Quick balls of fire. What's more, you may now ride Pokemon Charizard. Charizard will lend you his strength and you will be able to go anywhere you have been in an instant. Yes. So now we have Fly. That's good. The Fire EMZ you should show to the trial guide at the captain's barricade at the bottom of the mountain. Time for us to return to our dance, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, very good, very fine. Any hidden items around here? Mm, I'm getting a hint of... No. Let's have them open the captain's barricade. I agree. Uh, let's... Uh, we're going to try and find a, a Salazzle first, though. Floatstone. I don't remember what that does. Uh, reduces the weight of a Pokemon when it's held. Okay. Serves the purpose of weakening Grass Knot, I suppose. The prettiest of the sisters. Pop through this gate here. 
Charming. She loves volcanoes. So, what's the purpose of me having met all those ones? So, I feel like I could have just completely avoided this entire area if I wanted to, which is interesting. Normally, they force you to run through areas a little bit. They didn't do that here. So, he's donezo. We've got a TM over here. But Stoutland can't come with me. Rock Tomb's good. Rock Tomb's fun. And another trainer battle here. Alright, Hiker Calhoun. I haven't heard that name since... Uh, you guys ever watch that Rocket Jump show? Video Game High School? On YouTube? Freddy Wong. It's a great show. Really liked it. <gasps> Magby! All right, I gotta get um, I gotta get this guy. Oh my god! So uh, after weakening the Magby for a few turns and failing to catch it, it SOS a Magmar, which of course is just a better choice because I can always breed more Magbies. Um, but now I have a Magmar outright. So, uh, now I have a Magmar, that's great, but it cost me almost every one of my Pokemon, uh, which is hilarious. So, let's see what Magmar's got to, got to say about it. It says, uh, its entire body is burning. When it breathes, the temperature rises. When it sneezes, flames shoot out. Interesting. Uh, I will not give Magmar a nickname, and I will send it to a box. Because at the at this moment in time, I do not want it. But I am very injured now, uh, so I'm probably not gonna stick around here for a Salandit anymore, just because I'm too hurt, uh, and I don't know that I'll be able to. Oh, I do have a burn heal. I might use that. No, I won't, because I'm leaving. Uh, that's the way back up to the top. So I'm pretty much done here. Is the impression I've gotten. So good, no, don't go that way, go this way. Okay. So now I show the fiery Z to the captain over here. Uh, what's this man say? Do I remember talking to him? I don't know if I ever want to see the dance. There's that route on the side over there. Who who dis? Who are you? You, you passed Kiawe's trial. Well done, okay. That means you can now ride on Charizard. In that case, I want to tell you about a great way to play with the Pokemon in your boxes. You ready for this? Press X and then tap the Pokebelago. We're waiting for you and your Pokemon to visit. So that's just the guy that introduces what the Poke Pokepelago is. Look, there's a little Magmar walking over there. Hey, buddy. Hey, I just stole one of your kind. Uh, so now the gate's gone. And we can head out this way, out California way. Uh, there's a little optional route over the side here. That rock looks conspicuous. Is there an item here? Oh no, that's the way in. <laughs> um, you know what though? Maybe I should heal up before I start going alternate routes. Or maybe I should come back for alternate routes because let's be honest, I am taking my time with this game and there are a great number of people who are waiting. Oh, Dual Saiyan Zossi. Wow, the aura readings are going crazy. Hey, Geo. Interesting. So this is what you call a tunnel. I would like to investigate it further if we only had time to do so. Greetings, Geo. It seems your island challenge is going well. It appears that my guess was correct. Battling the totem Pokemon, which are wrapped in aura, is having an effect on you as well. And those Z moves also envelop your ally Pokemon in aura, do they not? Are you able to fully control the aura then? Sure I can. What? I suppose it does not matter to us either way, but once long, long ago our world was awash in wondrous light, like the light of those Z-moves that you can use. Dulce, it's about time for our meeting. Yes. 
we will be getting the aid of a scientist who is well educated in the ways of Pokemon. We will need his help to find ways. Might use our technology to achieve our goals. Oh my god, hurry up. <laughs> Love you too, but I thought I was going to battle you. So that was just a weird... That was a strange encounter. But I think now we're going to see... What's the, who's the scientist? Colrus? Alright, trainer tips. We got a little lad, daddy. I want to know more about Passimian. I don't have Passimian. Wah. No, I need to go in here. Is there a way for me to rest? Because I'm very injured. Sure, Aether Foundation. Goomy. Alright, you want a Goomy. Aw, cutie. Kerr. First time I've seen someone on the sound like that. Vulpix seems to calm down around you too. You can come visit us from time to time? Yes, I will. Shaking slightly. Let's eat something. You haven't had a decent meal in a long time. A big malasada together. I think I have one, right? Okay. So... I'll come back again and feed it another malasada, I guess. Interesting. I see a sticker over there. Hey, it is Colrus. I still really need to heal my Pokemon. I remember in the last game, I gave Colrus that kind of robotic voice you there it's because he's got like science like t computery stuff there oh excuse me i am a scientist my name is colrus the theme of my research is bringing out the potential of pokemon what brings out the power of pokemon is i believe that is the bond they share with their trainers and thus, my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to the Pokemon through the power of the Z-Power Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Geo, is it? I'll remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. Flame Charge, that's a good one. If you are able to utilize Flame Charge fully, you'll be able to have a great battle with a totem in the next trial. The trial in Lush Jungle. Z power. Is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently, there are uninhabited islands for Pokemon called Poke Pelago out here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Geo, I hope you will excuse me. I've had quite a curious request made to me by a couple of most oddly dressed strangers. That's funny coming from you, Colrus. Uh, so now we're going to Lush Jungle. 27 stickers, Dunzo, and counting. Uh, you. Uh, I'm interested in Sky Drop. Well, I can only get it if I battle everyone first. Uh, there's an area over here. I have to be off my, my dudes in order to get down here, though, right? Hidden items. Big Pearl. Alright. Fine. But you? You want to fight me. I'm so injured. Please, somebody, <laughs> please heal me. I'm so injured. They didn't do anything for me ever since that trial. Oh, this is the fishing area, huh? Well, I reeled something in. Uh, and it is a Magikarp. Of course it is. <laughs> Alright, we caught Magikarp. Um, just because, why not? I mean, I, it was sort of a mistake that I 
fish in the first place. In the very distant past, they were fairly strong, but they have become gradually weaker over time. Fascinating. Uh, we will not be running a GLaDOS, a, uh, a Gyarados. I nicknamed my Gyarados Ziz, Gyaradoses, Gyaradosi. I always nicknamed them GLaDOS. Uh, portal reference. So we're heading on down California way. This nice little road here. That gentleman saw me from 8 million miles away. He was able to see clear across the universe and catch me. And Rising Star Mikey, you got two Pokemon. I'm down to just two Pokemon. I desperately want to heal up. This game doesn't want to give me that opportunity. This game used to, like, would, like, you'd fight how and then he'd be like oh great job or like i'll heal you before you fight me then you'd fight him and then you'd walk through like a route one for like two seconds and they'd be like oh my god here let me heal up your pokemon and like they wouldn't let you go like two seconds without healing and now they're making me I'm, i don't want to use items like who do they think i am attack and special attack talking about that uh, that was the same patch of grass we were in earlier. We can cross here to get to those berries, but we're gonna have to fight something first. What do we have in this grass? Anything interesting? Trumbeak. Alright, adding a Trumbeak to our, uh, fun little, fun little gaggle of Pokemon in the box, because we're not gonna use it. But might as well, I mean complete what we can of the Pokedex while we're on the way. I'm really just looking for fun Pokemon, you know what I mean? Cha has been an absolute beast. Getting some berries over here. Citrus. Cherry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. More citrus. Like it. Love it. Uh, we got another Pokemon trainer here. Uh, and then an item in this corner. I should really be popping a repel, but I haven't seen the Pokemon in this area, so maybe it's okay. Maybe there's something interesting. Nope. <laughs> All right, an Ultra Ball, not bad. Uh, let's pop a repel here, cause I have had enough of this. Almost all of my Pokemon are pretty much dead. But this, I think I'm pretty much done with this route also. I think there's a Pokemon Center right over here. Hey, it's How. Is he going to heal my Pokemon and then battle me? I'm like two centimeters away. He's waving at me, doing the thing. Hey, hey, Geo, you ever heard of this Festival Plaza thing? I guess it's like Festival or something where lots of people get together and have fun. You, I can tell you've never tried Festival Plaza. No worries. I'll teach you how to visit it. I just heard about it for the first time too. Let's see, I think she said, yeah, you're supposed to open up your X menu and tap on Festival Plaza. Please don't make me go right now. Oh God. Festival Plaza was the worst idea. Uh, it's a fun side, like they should include it. It should not be the way that you access the online menu because it made so much more sense in X and Y where you could be playing the game online and fun stuff could happen to you. Internet connectivity and all that. Uh, Welcome to Festival Plaza. I am Sophocles. This is a secret place where you can come to play using communication features. We're holding a festival where trainers can interact right now. We need someone to welcome those who have come here to play. You kind of seem like someone who will play a lot using communication features. There's something you can do for me. Help me liven up this festival. All right, thanks. Okay, you gotta help me out right away. Someone has come to play now. Go have a chat with them. This is awful. <laughs> uh, you're a host, aren't you? Do you know what to do when you see me videos? Well, have a chat. That's exactly what you should do. Please take f friend tokens. I forget. Is that good? Festival coins, that's right. Woo! Lottery shop. 
Boo, bouncy house. Boo, haunted house. Boo, food stall. All right. I'm going to go talk to these people once again. People come to play. Go respond to them. Get some festival coins. Be like, hey, what's up? Hello. Hey, what's up? Alola. People listen to your stories. Listen to their whispers. Impressive. I think they're telling you that when you get close to them, it'll tell you what they want above. Listen, listen. He just wants to be heard. Communicate. And that'll invite people to your plaza. And I dinged level two. Please, dear God, get me away from this. <laughs> this is too much. I crushed it. If I get a lot of coins, rank will go up. And I get a new thing. Big Dreams Star. Yay. Let's go see if I get something. Let's win a Master Ball. Oh yeah, you can connect to other people, wireless communication, so give it a try. He sent out a staff to help me out. Can now use the menu on the lower screen. Try battle or trade. No, don't, don't do this to me. That's my mom texting me. And this person wants to talk, too much talk. Let me briefly explain. First of all, I'm a receptionist at the information desk. If you have any questions, ask me. PC for communications. Oh, yeah. One of my friends uh, in the GBA told me that I can get a rock ref right now using the connecting to the wireless. Reception desk for global missions. Achieve a world record. Page trainers. Remodeling to switch the order of facilities. I forget what the person on the other side is there for. What'd you think, Geo? Pretty fun, right? It's great to get to meet so many different folks. Now I'm gonna have some fun with my team. All right, bye, Hal. You didn't give me any revives this time, but you know, whatever. Oh my God, finally healing up. Let's see what else we got going on in this area. No, I did not want to use the computer. Okay, poke beans. Get comfy. Ride Charizard. Selling me quick balls, dusk balls, dive balls, and X items. I have a new Z crystal so I can purchase more items, including super repels. Take my money. I want 20 of them. Uh, that's good enough, I think. How am I doing for great balls? Wouldn't kill me to have 10 more of those. Good. Feeling good, looking good, sounding good. She's going to talk about her things that are re good against grass. Let's not use a repel there. Arbok, please trade my Arbok for your Trumbeak. Sure, I just caught a Trumbeak. Take my Trumbeak. Give me your Arbok. I'm not going to use the Arbok. But I only have an Ekans right now, and so getting a, uh... Getting an Arbok is gonna add to my, uh, my Pokedex. Increasing the chance that I'll get a critical capture. That's what they say, at least. They say if you... Um... Arbo. I guess they just like to nickname Pokemon in this game, just some of the letters of their name. Arbo for Arbok, Cha for Horlucha. That's a sick drawing of Arbok. Yay, completed. Uh, the latest research has determined that there are over 20 possible arrangements of the pattern on its stomach. Fascinating.
Okay. Moving on. Let's see what's going on in some of these buildings. You, what do you want? No vacancies. The boy staying there paid up to two years worth of nights when he first got here, though he's not so free with the cash now as he used to be. Seems like Team Skull doesn't pay him well enough to live off. Snubble is super cute. Gerber. Any garbage? No. No. So Gladian's in a room over here. And he's probably going to say something hella emo to me, but we're going to go say hi to him anyway, because deep down he's our friend because we battled him one time. Get out. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's the only thing he wants to say. Any hidden items? You got an item over there. Doggy. What does your nose say? You. No! It's a battle. <laughs> the swing is all in the hips. Well, you're not wrong. Well, yes, you are wrong. It's not all in the hips. Golfer Mally. Her name was actually Mile. Uh, M-A-I-L-E. Miley? Miley? Cyrus? Dude hitting a golf ball back here, too. Are you trying to hit that Pokeball that's on the ground? The item? Wasted opportunity for Hoot Hoot to not be dark flying, I feel like. Because uh, I remember Hoot Hoot first came out uh, when they or they first introduced the idea of night and day into the game uh, and you could only catch Hoot Hoot at night. Got nothing over here. Oh baby. Oh yeah, the wimple. I wonder if I can Yay! I got it! <laughs> but doesn't it... Doesn't Wimpod, like, run away? I said Wimple. Doesn't it run away right away? Like, immediately? So what do I need to... Do I just need to quick ball it? From the get-go? Come on. Okay, I guess it doesn't run away right away. It used Struggle Bug instead. But Wimble's super weak, so I, I don't want to destroy this little bad boy. That's why you hit it and it runs away. So, okay. Uh, can I surf on this? It's gonna take a Sharpedo to break those rocks. I can fish here and maybe catch something special. What do we got? What you got for me, game? Just a magic card. Boring. I'm annoyed by that wimple situation. Wimpod. But we have a little area over here. Oh yeah, the training martial artists. The double battle that I get to have. And the joke is he says he's training with a karate genius. But then I bet it's that the the older buff dude who's actually a karate guy is not the genius, it's the little kid. He's learning. 
That's the type of game we're playing, guys. That's, that's the type of game we're playing. I'll hit them both with a disarming voice. Quick claw so I go first. Probably would have been better if I went second, because this might not... Yeah, I thought so. The headbutt would maybe have taken out Machop in one go, which would have meant that I could have popped um, Disarming Voice on just one of them and not had to eat this Karate Chop. Master, I'm sorry. I knew it. Okay. It's a fun little battle. Item on the floor there. A water stone. Not bad. I didn't really need a water stone. Um... I'd love a I'd love a thunderstone if you got one for me. Ooh, a Finian! Critical capture! Boom. Nailed it. Now I have a Finian. The most forgettable water Pokemon in the entire game. I mean, it really is, though. I mean, it's just like... Like, Seeking would be forgettable, except that Golding and Seeking are from the are from Red and Blue, so people don't really forget about them. But Finian and Luminian, they're just fish. <laughs> Nothing about them. Uh, I accidentally ran over that ripple so I don't get to do anything special there we'll pop back off over here and be sad that we missed our wind pot opportunity oh, we can't just leave and come back it's it's not difficult to do that uh, to do this uh, but there's a believe something over in this little corner yes it's a dude who gives us fossil restoration that's right do you give us a fossil too or Nah, I just have to come back here. I see a little... Awakening? No, no, no. No, 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 That's not what I'm going for. I'm going for the sticker. But thank you for the, the hidden item. But that's not what I wanted. Ooh, another hidden item. A rare bone. I forget what you do. Sold for a high price of shops. Boo! I say. I say nyet. Nyet. Um, what are we looking at? We are looking like this is going to be a long episode. And we're going to go for a double, guys. We're going to try and beat Lush Jungle right now, too. Because there's something I feel anticlimactic about starting an episode with a totem battle and not ending with one and as I recall this one in particular was pretty fun and hard hey Mallow hey thanks for stopping by welcome to lush jungle the trial grounds for me Mallow you ready to get in some hot water my trial is ready for you if you're ready for it I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I knew it for the first time I saw you and your team you've chosen only the finest ingredients you are the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Top of Coco, aren't you? I totally get it now. Okay then, here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Mallow's trial to begin. All right, what are we doing? Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell you just what today's special should be. Yup, it's gotta be my secret specialty, the Super Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find three ingredients for me. I need a mango berry, some honey, and a big root. Here you go. I bought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients you'll gather for your trial. Hmm. If you tossed all the ingredients inside your own bag, it would make something all right. Something like a mallow mess, I guess. Let's go and find the first ingredient right away.
What? Aha! <laughs> well, for Mantis. Jeez, that was from Mantis. I wonder if they could tell how strong you are. You can find Mago Berries around here. But you'll also have Fomantis living here, because they love Mago Berries too. If you take a Mago Berry that a Fomantis had their eyes on, they might not take it too kindly. When you're done gathering ingredients here, just let me know. Okay, there's no way in heck that, that is the, uh, that's the Mago Berry I need. Is that it? How many do I need? Do I need all of them? Go look for the next ingredient. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> I knew they were going to try and trick me and make the first one not the right one. But then I also had a suspicion that the last one is the bait because people would think, oh, that's got to be it, but it wasn't. Uh, you sure that's the one you want to grab? If any Pokemon had their eyes on it, you might be taking someone that Pokemon thinks it belongs and then they come back and attack you later. I'll be fine. On to the next ingredient. Chop, chop. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> that's cute. So, that one was the wrong one or the right one? I can't tell with this game. You can harvest honey from the flowers that bloom over here in the jungle. Is that Kiawe? But you'll also find plenty of Pokemon where there are lots of flowers. When you find the ingredients, you sure, you sure want you come show them to me, okay? Yeah, alright, I guess. Uh, let's uh, pop a... Pop a repel here. Because you can't even catch Pokemon in here, so it's not really... To me, it's not really worth it. Um, these ones look nice. Honey in the Forge bag. I see a red item here. Max Revive. Not bad. As I recall, this next challenge is super hard. Uh, this is a rock that's covered in moss, soft to touch. That's probably where I evolved to get a leafy on. That's Kiawe. What are you doing, Kiawe? People say Pokemon are lured in by flowers and gather around them. Watch out when you see a bunch of flowers if you don't want to get attacked. These ingredients are important for this trial, but they are also very important to the Pokemon that live in lush jungle. This thick club I'm going to give to Mallow too with the result of serious effort on the part of Marowak and I. Alright. Are you sure that's the one you want to grab? Like, why are you telling me this? I... Like, because you haven't explained to me... You've given me absolutely zero input as to whether or not one or a different one is, is different. Like, all you're saying is, oh, if someone was looking at it, a Pokemon might come for you. But you would say the same thing if I went to a different one? That's just ridiculous. Uh, Sudowoodo, our actual Sudowoodo. Good luck with that. <clears throat> what? So, that's not a real Sudowoodo. I'm assuming one of them... If one of them's a real pseudo wudo, it'll wiggle, right? I'll have to come back here later when I have uh, access to my champ. Hey, look, it's Lana. Lana! Oh, Geo, are you here for Mallow's trial too? Oh, I was just taking a guess. Looks like you got lured in too, huh? I came because Mallow asked me to bring her some fresh water. What? No, that's not okay with me. I don't know. You. No, that's not a real pseudo wudo. Wait, am I trying to find the one that is or is not pseudo wudo? Because this one has weird legs. Look at it. Did I do it right or wrong? Because, like, look, that one has pseudo wudo feet. That one has pseudo wudo feet. They all have pseudo-woodo feet. So about that ingredient. 
You sure that's the one you want to grab? If any Pokemon had their eyes on it, you might be taking some of that Pokemon things belong to them and they come attack you later. I'll be fine. So... See? So they're all angry at me for some reason. Alright, hold on. Pause while I respond to this text. Thanks for stopping by. Let me check the ingredients you got for me. Let's see that mango berry first. Kaka. Okay, so we got one angry for Mantis. Mr. Phone. Quickly disintegrate that little guy into nothingness. Ooh, flying press. Flying press is both fighting and flying type simultaneously. 100 power. Ninety-five accuracy, which means one in twenty I'm gonna miss. It is a lot more powerful than Brick Break. And if I'm really concerned about accuracy, but do I wanna lose access to the pure fighting typing? Cause this makes it that uh rock type resists me. Flying press is a strong move. I do like that, but I feel like I would rather have both a flying and a fighting stab separately. Because there's so many situations where I'd use, I would want to use one or the other. I guess I could lose aerial ace. No, I couldn't. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better for me to keep a fighting stab and a flying stab separately. Because if it's both, I mean, that that would ruin... I mean, there's some benefit to it, but there's also some negative to it. Oops, you went and took the Mago Berry that that Fomantis had his eye on, didn't you? But how was I supposed to know that? All right, let's put this mango berry into the pot and there we pour the fresh water that Lana brought us. Next up is the honey. And I angered that Fomantis apparently for some reason. Well, Fomantis sure do love its honey. Now we mix the honey in using the thick club that Kiawe brought along. And last but not least, the big root. And finally, it's finished. With one last pinch of my super special secret spice. Ta-da, the super mallow special. It's all done, it smells delicious. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got, guys? Lorantis. Sneep, sneep. So, I remember this being a really hard battle last time. So let's see what we're gonna have to do to get through this. Speed rose sharply, so I'm gonna wanna get that thing paralyzed. I may even want to do that right away. But I don't know that Beep Beep will survive a two-hit KO. What can I do here? I can baby doll eyes it. I guess it depends who I want to win with. Because I could work up... Um, pups might be good to boost to high heavens with work up. Get to a stage where I can one-shot any of the ads that he calls in. Um... I don't know if I'm... I mean, I'll, I'll be slower than the Lorantis. If it's the same battle that it was last time, Lorantis is going to pop off a sunny day. Then be faster than me with Chlorophyll and uh, be able to pop off Solar Blade. I 
I don't know that I won't one shot the uh, the weather balling guy. I really want to get Lorantis paralyzed, but I think I already lost, missed my opportunity for that. I would have had to lead with it and go for it on turn one. Because by switching in now, he's going to SOS right away, and that's going to put me in a, in a bind. Uh, he also pops Synthesis, so I need to find a way to tack him down that way. Uh, and I'm also not at full HP starting this, so let's just work up right out the right out the gate. Okay, he's going to Solar Blade, but he hasn't set up the Sun yet. But he has a Power Herb to fully charge it and pop it off turn one. Alright. That's going to hit hard. 51 down to 24. But he's going to have to Sunny Day up if he wants to do it next turn. Kecleon. Interesting. Uh, 51 down to 24 means 27 damage. So I'm going to need to heal up. It's nowhere near enough. How about you soda pop? It's only 50. None of this is good enough for me. Moo Moo Milk's 100. Uh, oh, that's stupid. I should have just used a super potion, which would have been 60 and put me at 84. Yeah, that was dumb of me. So he's going to charge up a solar blade. What's Kecleon going to do? Sunny day? There we go. So now we're going to be eating solar blades on a turn-by-turn -turn basis. But fortunately, not on round one. So... Work up plus one is in effect. I can headbutt Kecleon to see if I'm good enough to take him out with only one workup, but I'd rather double the workup here. Because I am eating those solar blades. It is going to take multiple to take me out. Kecleon does learn fighting type moves, which I need to be careful about. Especially now that I don't, I don't have another turn for setup now that the uh, solar blade's up. Dizzy Punch. So that's Stab. And he nails the Confusion. And I'm boosted. So it's basically like you hit me with it. That's unfortunate. I could literally faint if I get unlucky with that Confusion right now. Uh, so I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to full restore now. Because I... That's dumb luck. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to play around this dumb luck right now. He's gonna pop off one turn. Cause this is gonna put me in the same HP that I would have been at. Um, just not confused, which is good. Cause I'd rather play. I'd rather play through this fight that way. Unless he confuses me again. Gets a crit. That's excellent. Excellent. This is off to a great start, me. Headbutting the Kecleon. If I Oko it, then I will be able to survive the L Lorantis's, uh I mean, I'll survive this turn. If I Oko the Kecleon, I survive this turn. You know what? Hilariously, Cha's Flying Press would be great here. I do not take out the Kecleon. He lands the Dizzy Punch, and Pups goes down. Unfortunate. Pups are coming up short, buddy. You are doing your darndest and coming up incredibly short. Uh, let's see. Beep Beep will get outsped by both of these Pokemon. And I'm not so sure we'll survive anything. Uh, so let's just see if Cha can finish off this fight. Best way for me to do that is to take out the Kecleon. How many turns left on this... I can't check, can I? Harsh Sunlight, one of five turns. Uh, so if I take out the Kecleon here, it needs to SOS a new one the turn after, and there will be a turn where Lorantis is just setting up. So let's Brick Break the Kecleon now. 
X scissor, yeah, that's very, very resisted. It seems so it seems then like the Laurentius doesn't really have much for Cha. Yeah, Cha's probably just gonna make quick work of this. The sunlight is gone, so he has to wait an extra turn, and I'm gonna resist it when it does go through. Two of those will take out the Lorantis. He's gonna have to get a sunny day popped here if he wants to be able to survive and synthesis up. So Comfy's gonna have to pop that, but I'm gonna outspeed Comfy and take out the Lorantis this turn. So then Comfy is all that's left. He will have a super effective thing for me. It's a lot of damage considering it's still resisted, but what can you do? Lorantis goes down. What's Comfy got for me? Flower shield. Sorry, buddy. Not good enough. There's the sunny day. So, a much easier battle this time around. Um, the thing that made it so difficult last time was the fact that they had Lorantis abusing super fast, super high powered solar blades. And then they had the, the weather ball Pokemon, forgetting it, cast form, uh, abusing weather ball under sunny day effect to have a fire type coverage so the grass fire made it really difficult to counter both of what was going on uh in that fight you know you, you try and tank the um the grass type move and then you get hit with a fire type because i had a charge a bug uh so which would have done decently against the lorantis but then uh, then would struggle against the other. Ooh, hold on. Eevee's gonna try and evolve right now, but I don't want him to do that. Because it's either I'm too close to the grass stone and I become a Leafeon, or I become an Umbreon because it's nighttime right now. Uh, so I'm actually gonna stop this. Because I want him to be a Jolteon. <laughs> Very badly. Wow, Geo, you're even stronger than I thought. You really drew the best out of your team. You even quieted down that Lorantis, the toned Pokemon of Lush Jungle. You battled your way through the Pokemon living here in the jungle and get the ingredients, and then you and Breon make a fabulous team. Yes, even back at Whale of Volcano Park, my Marowak didn't stand a chance. Nor did ever nor did Araquanid that I had trained so carefully. Well, it looks like he cleared all three of Akala's trials. An amazing trainer like you who cleared my super hard trial definitely deserves this. What's the tree one, guys? It's gonna be like, you gotta be like a tree, like tall like a tree, right? Do like a tree thing, I don't know how. Trees sway in the wind, so maybe she does a sway in the wind thing, but I think she's just gonna like, shape herself tall like a tree. That's my guess. Show me your dance, Mallow. You go like, grass, okay? Here, watch me. Grow like a tree! Got it. Since you cleared my trial, Geo, why don't you try raising some Pokemon from Lush Jungle? Here, have some Nest Balls. Lorenz just didn't finish its food. Can't go to waste. You guys have some? <laughs> uh, and that food you cooked is suited to Pokemon taste buds, right? I think it's probably best to save it for the Lorantis that will want more. You think? Olivia always says she thinks it's delicious. I think people would enjoy food cooked for a toad and Pokemon too. Your guys' loss. Well, I guess I will take this to Olivia. See you around, Geo. <laughs> well, what's that sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a Tasty Mallow special? I heard... Oh, God, I'm letting the... <laughs> I'm letting the southern... 
jive get in with the with the surfer breath jive killer wave say i heard i heard you cleared malice trial yeah all right then i have a present for you this little tm right here smart strike a move that'll never miss uh steel type right that's cool there'll be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter there's a facility yeah and I want you to go check out on your island challenge, the Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get over there with extreme speed. Hey, that's the name of a Pokemon move. <laughs> Guess I can congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala's Island's trials, too. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia is an expert user of Rock-type Pokemon. You're going to want to catch some Grass-type Pokemon and less jungle to add to your team. Whether you're ready... Whenever you're ready for the grand trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah? But just ask Rotom if you need some help. This is, this is the Dimensional Research Lab is in Hia Hia City. Alright, but you know what? Uh, that was a long episode, and you guys deserved it because you've been so patient with me during my playthrough. Uh, but that's going to be the end of episode 13. So as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in episode 14.